This video introduces you to Rockwell Automation's motion sizing and system analysis software, Factory Talk Motion Analyzer. Motion Analyzer helps design engineers pick the appropriately sized equipment for their application so that it's neither over nor undersized for their system. Motion Analyzer can generate system performance data, including Rockwell automation components such as drives and motors, and partner components such as motors and gearboxes. You can currently download this tool from the Product Compatibility and Download Center at no cost. The quick access links on the left provide an easy navigation to regularly used pages. You can start a new project from the home page at any time. On the right side of the page, you can contact support, provide your feedback, and view updates. You can view projects from the home page. Let's begin by exploring the user profile. The My Profile page contains personal information, company information, and unit settings that you can update. The unit settings tab lets you set default units for your projects. Next to the user profile, there is also a built-in inertia calculator for solid or hollow cylinders. The library has projects currently owned by you. Let's take a deeper look at a project. The architecture overview is the first page to appear when you open an existing project. Here you will find all axes related to the project. On this window, you have a project pane on the left for project pages, axis level controls in the center, and project level elements and activities. You can view all the axes in the project here. The project pane provides navigation for the project. You can add a single axis or bus. You can select multiple axes. You can also duplicate or delete an axis. Note that for each axis, you can add or remove it from a bus or cluster, as well as perform other actions. You can edit the axis properties by clicking the pencil icon or the More Actions button. You can review an axis summary for each axis in your project by expanding the drop down arrow. Let's look at the axis overview page. Here, you can view the status of your components. The status is shown with an indicator beside each axis heading. This solid icon indicates that there is a valid entry in the selection. This dashed icon indicates that there is an entry in the selection. In this case, the selection needs to be validated. This yellow icon indicates that the selection has not been made or that it requires attention. Let's take a look at the project preferences. The preferences page provides access to customer information, site data, and a description of the use. Users can enter this information at any point of the project. Let's explore the profile editor. You can use your mouse to drag the plot and your mouse's wheel to auto-adjust or zoom the plot scales. From the Initial Conditions tab, you can define the initial starting velocity and or position. You can click on a segment to view its information. 
The segment parameter view provides access to configuration information for the selected segment. The segment types include both basic and complex motion types. You can also work with a segment in your profile in a variety of ways. The Add Segment action allows you to add a motion or load segment after existing segments. The Insert Segment action allows you to insert a motion or load segment in front of an existing or selected segment. Similarly, you are also able to import segments into your application. Let's proceed to the Components tab. Here you can edit the properties for any transmission components in your application. You can also select a motor and drive family or individual motor and drive catalog numbers. Let's proceed to the solution search. The solution search will list all the possible solutions for your application. Solutions can be narrowed down by using the filters. You can also sort the solutions by selecting each column. Let's look at the axis analysis for this axis. The axis analysis tab contains information and tools that you can use to evaluate system performance and efficiency. You can review the graphical representations of the performance characteristics for the system. In the summary tab to the right, you can see the performance characteristics of the selected motor and drive for the axis. Let's look at the power analysis. The power analysis is used for sizing the power supply and power accessories for your system. Let's look at the bill of materials for this project. The bill of materials contains product catalog numbers and descriptions for the drives and motors you have selected in your project. You can export the bill of materials into a CSV file that can be utilized in other applications, such as proposal works. Once everything is finalized, you have the option to download a project report of your whole configuration as a PDF. This brings us to the end of the system design introduction with Factory Talk Motion Analyzer. In this video, you saw an overview of the speed and simplicity of using Factory Talk Motion Analyzer to size and select motion drive systems.